Before we can talk about what happened in the box, here's your friendly reminder that this video is going to be covering the content that's associated with the Kaggle AutoML bonus lesson as part of the Kaggle Intro to Machine Learning course. We've covered decision trees and random forests in this Learn With Me series, and I really appreciate y'all coming on this learning journey with me. It's been a ton of fun. And before we close things out, I do want to take time to go through this AutoML bonus lesson, because as we're still beginning our machine learning journey and learning about all of the models available to us, we can also use tools like AutoML ML to help build and choose the best models for our given problem. Now, this lesson is entirely optional because it's using Google's AutoML tables, which is a paid service. The good news is that when you first sign up for the service, you get $300 worth of free credits, which is a really cool way to try out the product. However, please be careful and keep an eye on your credit balance because once you go over and run out of free credits, you will be charged for usage. <laughs> So we're on our last video with pancakes. And I wanna talk a little bit more about how AutoML works. So using our pancake data and AutoML would be like taking all of the possible recipe ingredients and amounts and giving them to AutoML and saying, hey, AutoML, I want you to come up with the fluffiest, most delicious, most scrumptious pancake recipe to ever grace the plate. I don't know about you, but that's something I could definitely use in my life. And that's kind of what AutoML is capable of doing. The only two variables you need to update here are your project ID and bucket name. And our learn team has done a fantastic job of providing you with instructions on how to do that in the exercise. So we've got this giant code chunk and what it's doing is giving AutoML all of the instructions that it needs to build the model. So once we've completed and run this block of code, we'll see something like this. And we're told that, hey, our notebook is ready to train the model. So we'll commit our notebook at this stage and then we're gonna run the next code chunk, which basically has our AutoML wrapper dot train underscore model and AutoML wrapper shortened to AMW dot get underscore predictions. So we're gonna run this code block and before you know it, we're gonna have our second competition submission ready to go. Combining everything we've covered in this video, along with the material available on the Kaggle Intro to Machine Learning AutoML module, there's one big recap we've got today. And that's that we learned how to use Google Cloud's AutoML tables to automate the machine learning process. And with that, we did it. Take a deep breath. Take a moment to congratulate yourself. We've just completed all of the content in the Intro to Machine Learning series and the AutoML bonus lesson. And that's really awesome. I'm so excited to hear about what you're learning next.